Hello, people of God. Hello, beloved of God. I hope that you are all well. I hope that you are all so blessed. And yeah, I had to hurry on here because um, I really just wanted to, you know, do like a whole week of, you know, a, a few whispers that the Lord has just been giving me regarding, um, you know, I feel like the last few whispers before the actual manifestation of most of um, these kingdom marriages, okay, that are happening right now and in this season. So um, it's just a few little things that, um, you know, he really wants you to know. And all of these things are really for just um, your knowledge and more than anything, your comfort, knowing that he's doing this, okay? He's just letting you know that, my child, I'm doing this. Don't worry. Just, just keep on course. Okay, when you see maybe this or that happening or even when this or that is not happening, just know that in the realm of the spirit or even behind the scenes or um, I'm just really working this out. So don't be um, don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. None of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. Okay, so um, we're just going to go right into the word. Okay, so as you can see by the title. Um, most of you, um, who've been following for some time, but I mean, I imagine most of you are actually, um, new subscribers. So, um, if you can go and check out, there's this, um, it, I think it was around a month or maybe just over a month ago, I released a word on, um, high impact marriages. Okay. So these are kingdom marriages where, um, I explained in the video that, um, most of these ones are, um, where you would be marrying into places of very great influence okay and you know most most people would um regard it as you know your your esther type of marriage where you are marrying a king or someone um who um is in a place of very great influence like i said whether in in business whether in um entertainment hollywood whatever 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 however that looks for you um if of course this has been a word that has been prevailing in your life or that the holy spirit has spoken to you or has shown you okay so um this is um these are almost high profile these are almost high profile okay so um of course this word um may be only relatable to a few of us um but um i do believe also that most of these principles most of these imprints or these little details are really um things that the lord is using to kind of mark the season's marriages um kind of mark kingdom marriages or actually marriages that he's putting together okay marriages that he is the one to you know to actually put together okay so um Let's just get into the word. Um, like I said, I don't want to keep you long at all. Um, it's actually even getting dark and I'm not going to edit this light at all. So I'm just, you know, um, making sure that I say everything that the Holy Spirit needs me to say or has whispered to me. And um, while I keep the bit of light that I do have. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Um, so what I wrote down here is that you thought they didn't know you. You thought they didn't know you because, you know, um, like I said, with, with um, these high impact marriages, you would think um, this person is too busy. This person couldn't possibly come across um, you. I mean, you, you know, like, of course, you, you're occupying your own little corner, but you're not as high profile as they are. You get what I mean? So um, you thought they didn't know. Or you thought they'd be too busy to notice, but they're watching. And here's what the Lord specifically said to me. He said, I'm the one who captured their attention on you. Okay. And then by, by, by that, he started to, to, um, really, um, speak to me about how, um, this noticing and this watching is not only a thing of attraction. And he started to speak to me about Esther and I'm going to, um, link all the scripture that I referred to very briefly because, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, make the points and as I go, but absolutely I'm going to go ahead and link all the scriptures that I'm going to, you know, paraphrase or make reference to right now. And, um, you can go and read and, you know, um, 
see what exactly the lord or what whatever else the holy spirit would want to unfold to you okay so um he's saying i'm the one who captured their attention yes and he started to to speak to me about how this thing is not only an attraction thing you see um like esther um the king was um saw her okay noticed her but in the midst of all these beautiful ladies it, it says that he found i mean she found favor with him so the lord continued to to tell me that but it's not a, an attraction thing only because um of course esther was this absolutely gorgeous lady okay young fair even the bible says you know fair and beautiful okay and so th th there's just that p peculiar look about her that was just striking okay but more than her striking face or her striking features the lord told me that it's a favor thing so i will make sure that you have favor with this um spouse whatever whether um you're a woman or you're a man okay so the lord is saying this is a favor thing more than it is an attraction thing some of you need to know that because you've been um you know mo mo most ladies i think you know you like to panic or or even men um even men men in um uh, in the in the um in the field or the place of um of status and relevance you know um you'd start to think or um Oh yeah, um, th this lady is nice, but I mean, if if I'm looking at her, then someone else who's a high profile or someone else who's just as great is looking at her. So um, the likelihood that she go for me is 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 very um, it's just unlikely, right? But the Lord is saying it's a favor thing. I put the favor in that spouse or that man and that wife so that they would notice you. Yeah, so like I said, the Lord is saying, stop stressing. Just stop stressing. Stop, you know, stop thinking all these things. Oh, it could probably be someone else over me. Oh, this. Lord, maybe I'm crazy. Lord, this. Stop that. Stop all of that. Stop all of that right now. Stop all of that is what the Lord is saying. Okay, so um, he's saying... It's, it, it, this favor is only for you. This favor is only for you. As much as it was for Esther. Listen to me. Okay. I don't for one second believe that Esther was the most beautiful woman at that, um, you know, at that um, event that they, you know, they called all the virgin ladies in the land or whatever, whatever. She, I, I doubt it. Okay. I doubt it. I doubt it because the Lord has created us all in all our uniqueness, in all our quirks, in all, you know. So there is nothing such as Puseleto is more attractive than this. Okay. Especially in the lens of the Lord. So if this guy is looking at all these ladies, um, being a God-fearing man or even a man, I mean, a lady being a God-fearing woman, she or he are seeing all these quirks and they're seeing all these great features about each of us. Okay. And all these things that, um, would be advantageous for them to have for a partner. Okay. So for them to accurately choose, it's going to be a favor thing. It's going to be a favor thing. It's going to have to be an assignment thing. It's going to have to be a Holy Spirit thing. Not just willy-nilly, she looks cute, she's fair and beautiful, I got her. No, none of that, okay? So um, the Lord had me say that, and what else he, 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 he told me was that... Um, yeah, don't be don't don't be dismayed. No one's gonna snatch this from you. No one's gonna snatch anything from you. Okay, if it's something that he's saying he's ordaining, then it's a favor thing, and that favor is going to make sure that nothing snatches it. Okay, he's ordaining it. Okay. Um, and then the last thing um, that the Lord had me write down here is that for some of you. It is going to be a servant on behalf of your spouse who's watching. 
so like rebecca like rebecca um it's going to be it's going to be a servant watching on behalf of your spouse you are going to be recommended you're going to be recommended. And, you know, the Lord actually reminded me of a, a situation that I heard of, um, of a sister in Christ. If, you know, some of you, I believe, know Jekyllian Carr, right? Um, what actually happened was that um, her boyfriend, Jawan, was actually told by her mother, I mean, his mother, okay? His mother actually recommended Jekyllian, okay? Now, these people are two different people, okay? You know, Joan is just, you know, of course he, he's, he's, he's a pastor's kid, but he's just over there doing his, his ball thing. And though, although of course he loves the Lord, he's been raised, um, in a certain way. Um, the mom just, I feel like, um, just randomly and out of the blue recommends a, an entire gospel singer. Okay. So, um, some of you, that's your reality. Either by their parents, either by their friends, either by whatever. You're going to be recommended. You're going to be recommended. So, like Rebecca, and like I said, this also ties into the, 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 um, the pre a previous video that I did about how you're going to be, you know, noticed for something that is already in your disposition. Something that you're already doing on your day-to-day -day basis. Something that you already do naturally. It's not going to be, a, 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 you know, this great thing, you know, all of a sudden you're... Um, you know, you're being honored or being given an award at the Grammys and then now your, your husband sees you. No, it's not going to be none of that. No, 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 no. It's going to be something very simple, but that is very unique and niche to you. That is going to be an imprint on the Lord that communicates the exact message that they need to hear to know that this is it. Okay. And you know, some people will be like, no, but what happened to the, you know, normal dating, whatever, whatever. But most of you who've been um, really following me know that we are, we are not in a season of trying to find out. We are not in a season of, or at least the Lord in, um, in his attempts right now, he's not trying to have us guess anymore. He's not, he wants us to know and he wants you to, you know, when these things unfold, he doesn't want you to be, is it? is it no so that is exactly why the lord is you know um articulating this message to you but also um you know being very um intentional about having you know certain things or even um you know allowing you to know that it's 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 certain imprints in you that's going to communicate the message that needs to be communicated to whoever is linked to you to whoever is assigned to you Okay, so it's going to be these things that are very niche to you. Nothing that, you know, can be defiled, nothing that can be tainted. It's just you, okay, that um, that the Lord is going to just make sure that um, translates to whoever is being sent and allocated to you. So I, um, I really hope that this word blesses you, people of God, um, that this word really... Um, keeps you in trusting the Lord through all of this. You have no need of worry. You have no need of panic, but the Lord is doing this. And um, also the what the Lord said um, to me is that, you know, um, you may be thinking, nah, Lord, I'm tired of him watching. I'm tired of her watching or whatever, whatever. Can this just unfold? The Lord is saying, yeah, an appointed time is set. It is near, but it is set. It is set. Okay? So I pray that um, you just keep being diligent, Rebecca. Go and just draw your water as graciously as you always do. Okay? As normally and as naturally as you always do. Okay? So I hope that this word really blesses you. Um... And let's just pray. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you, O oh God, for what you are establishing. Thank you, O oh God, for what you are doing. Thank you, Lord, for what only you are doing. Only you are doing. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give ourselves, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, for exactly what you are doing. O oh God, in the name of Jesus. 
we give ourselves we yield ourselves in the name of jesus to what you are doing to what only you are doing we completely give ourselves to your assignment oh god as you lead us through as you lead us to as you lead us from as you lead us into oh god in the name of jesus we surrender ourselves we let ourselves go in your hands oh god so that you can do what only pleases you so that you can do what only is done by you oh god in the name of jesus we surrender we relinquish everything oh god have your way oh father in the name of jesus in the blessed name of Jesus, be glorified now and forever, my Father. In the name of Jesus, keep them, O oh God, those who are listening in perfect peace, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let their minds be forever stayed on you. You are faithful, O oh God, to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you've ever asked. We would ever ask or think according to the work, O oh God, and even the power that is within us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father. I give you all the glory and all the praise. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. People of God, I think I am going to actually have to edit this lighting. <laughs> because it is far too dark right now. But um, I love you all so much. And I pray that this word is just that one little nugget that keeps you um, trusting the Lord. Trusting the Lord, you know, um, if I can just drop this one little thing right now, is that one thing that the Lord has um, has been telling me is how we sh uh, he, uh, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to hear from my mouth that I trust him. He does. He doesn't care to hear from my mouth. I mean, for you, it's fine. You can do it just to, you know, to convince yourself or to remind yourself or to affirm yourself. But the Lord is like, I don't I don't I don't really um care too much to hear you say that you trust me i want you to show me that you trust me i want you to show me that you trust me and this is this is you know a, a direct um a direct correlation to faith without works is dead so the lord is saying if in your actions if in your actions you're not trusting me when at the first sight of Lord, this is not happening. You're panicking and already you're asking things. Or at the first, um, you know, at the first sign of anything that is not making you comfortable or is not, you know, is not there to reassure you. Or when the evil one is, you know, bringing certain minds to you, certain thoughts or certain whatever. And in your actions, you move in your, um, in your um eventually in your heart or in your um in your belief you move even in the things that you do you know there's a certain way that you act when you know the lord you you are you are joyful if all of a sudden you're like now somber and everything you're like lord this is crazy i i think i think i'm crazy because there's no way this is happening the lord is saying that is not it's not pleasing and that is not faith and it is impossible to to please the lord without faith and faith without works is dead so faith is about pleasing the lord um but also the, this pleasing to the lord is through your works it's through your works while you're trusting him. It's through what you do because you're trusting him. So I pray that this word also adds to all of this that the Lord has just dished out. People of God, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I love you all so much. And um, yeah, some of you are gonna say, there's nothing wrong with the lighting. But yeah, I'm gonna um, definitely adjust this lighting and don't mind me minding the lighting because, you know, I'm just trying to do what the Lord has called me to do or what the Lord has said to do in the best way possible, you know. And, you know, when these things happen, I don't like it. But um, I love you all so much. And until I release again, tomorrow um like, like i said this entire week i'm just really gonna um release some of the whispers and the final whispers before manifestation i believe um that the lord wants you to know um that the lord wants you to you know hold on to his word that he needs you to be um 
stayed on and for it to be your foundation and firm you know um so that you're not just you know shaking and you know scared or whatever so um I'm going to release um yeah a, a series of words this week and i hope that you you know stay tuned to those because i believe they're really key words just before manifestation and i'm so excited about this week so um i definitely know it's going to um really cause a turn in most of you's journey to this um to this marriage or your journey in general um even if this is not your season yet but this is going to bring clarity to most uh who you know in the next season or maybe in the next year are expecting these things these are, this is going to make um the series is going to really make the um those transitions and you know um you're going to be able to decipher what the lord is doing um and that is that, that is um the lord's um um intention from now on forward he doesn't want you to be um to be searching for certain things that he's already done or for certain things that he said to you that he's doing he doesn't want you to be you know going crazy thinking lord you know he listen he just wants to shut the devil up okay he just wants the devil to be okay because He's just relevant. Anyway, this lighting is getting crazily dark. It's literally so dark. But um, I hope that this word edifies you, encourages you, and just keeps you on course with the Lord. And I pray that you will continue to stick closer and go deeper. I don't care how deep you've gone with him. Go deeper. Hallelujah. So um, I am gonna leave this at this um beloved of god i love you all so much and i release until i release again um goodbye